Second, Scott, was with House Speaker Paul Ryan as he weighed in for the first time on the president's comments. Yeah, and a lot of people were really anxiously waiting to hear what he had to say because Speaker Ryan became the first Republican leader in Congress to speak out, describing his first thoughts when he learned of the president's inflammatory remarks about people from what the president reportedly called blank hole nations. I read those comments later last night. Uh, so first thing that came to my mind was very unfortunate, um, unhelpful. Okay, so we have a good Ryan was pressed by moderator Jeff Mayers of WIS Politics on whether the president's comments will hurt chances of reaching an agreement on DACA and immigration reform. And he also told the crowd at UW's Milwaukee Downtown Center that uh, pr the president's remarks made him think about his own ancestors, Irish immigrants, and what immigration has meant to this country. I see this as a thing to celebrate, uh, and I think it's a big part of our strength. Um, whether you're coming from Haiti, we've got great friends from Africa in Janesville uh, who are doctors who are just incredible citizens. Having said that, you're trying to ask me about DACA. I think that's well, where you're going. Well, yeah, with this, but I right? mean, it inflames that you, you have. Yeah, you right. have to, so, you're trying to broker a deal, right? right? And yeah, uh, so, how do you do that with this? So we just have to get it done. And to be clear, this was the speaker's first and only comments thus far on the president's comments. Yeah, well, and since they have in the media outlets in Washington and all been reaching out to the speaker's office since late yesterday to try to get a comment, uh, they were told starting today, just keep your eyes on the event in Milwaukee. All right, Ken, thank you. Sure.